thank you for that very special shower. Believe me, it was my pleasure. <sighs> so what's your neck? I don't know. I think it's the air mattress. <clears throat> oh, as you call it, that stupid air mattress. <laughs> but you know what I love about it? I love sleeping so close to the floor so that I don't fall off the bed. You're the best. Ah, ow, ow. Sorry, sorry. Must be all that activity in the shower. Go get that, yeah? <clears throat> Delivery for uh, Dr. Drake? Um, yeah, he, he didn't want the couch. He sent it back. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Bring it in, boys. That's, that's perfect right there. I mean, is that, is that okay with you? Um, yeah. Good. The rest of the stuff's in the truck? Yep. Yeah. We'll be right back. Wait, wait, stop. What stuff? Uh, I got some lamps, uh, some matching armchairs, um, a bedroom suite. A suite? That's what's called a bedroom suite, right? Mm -hmm. A bed dresser, a tall, tall boy, tall boy. Yeah, Hi, boy. Yeah. Actually, guys, take the couch and bring it downstairs, please. Nope. Couch stays. It can't. I like it. You only brought it back to please me. How dare you accuse me of being thoughtful? Will you be serious for a minute? I'm not furniture, absolutely not. Life's too short. You're not even sure you want to stay in this apartment. Why would you go and buy more furniture? It's a nice place. Thanks. She found it for me. Yeah, I'm starting to regret that. Okay, look, I made some changes about a lot of things. About furniture? Look, I've always wanted furniture. But you sent the couch back. It was a visceral reaction, like, like a reflex. If you hit somebody's knee with a rubber mallet, they kick. You buy me a couch, I send it back. Take it back to the store now. You sure? All of it. Nope. My apartment, my furniture, it stays. Well, looks like you bought yourself a suite full of very nice furniture. Very tasteful. Well, you're only saying that because you picked it out. Look at this. I see that. My ottoman. Your ottoman, and it doubles as a coffee table, just like the pictures in the magazines. Wow. You actually listen to me when I'm yakking in your ear. Yeah. So where does this go? See, that is proof right there that you don't really want it. You just bought all of this stuff because you think that I do. But you do. I don't. You don't like it? No, it's gorgeous. So what's the problem? You know what the problem is. You can't take yes for an answer. That's your problem. Look, I have a real apartment with real furniture. I'm almost growing up. Apparently, that was the goal. You mean my goal, as in Robin made me do it. OK, give me a little bit of credit. Now, you, you, you made sense when you said those things about living like a gypsy and it's not conducive to a certain lifestyle. But I like this. I mean, this, this, this feels good. If you liked it, you wouldn't have to ask me where things went. You'd be really excited. Moving that shelf five inches to the left, trying to figure out if you had enough room for a plasma television. Damn it. Plasma television. See, I knew I forgot something. But I am going to enjoy this. Now, I, I do have one simple question. Is furniture mm -hmm. objective? I mean, does it have a right and wrong place to go? You just put it where you want it, wh wh whatever pleases your artistic sensibilities. I haven't had one of those in a really long time. Outside the hospital, it's pretty much pizza and beer. And then I came along and ruined everything. So you're not going to help me? Look, deep down inside, you know what you want and where you want it. Yes. And I had that in the shower. <laughs> so help me. Or is that against the rules? All right, I'll help you move it, but that's it. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. Where do you want it? Um, let's just go over here. Wait. Just, no, just stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, no, Robin, no, let's no. Just put it no. Right here. It just what feels you, wrong. What you, what just put it down. I'm a fraud. Do tell. Well, I'm trying to give you all this advice, but I really don't have a clue. All I know is there has to be something more than sleeping on an air mattress for a month. Hey, don't look at me. This is the first time I've ever done this committed relationship thing. 
I really wish you hadn't bought all of this stuff. Okay, you bought this couch first. You had it delivered without telling me. You know what most guys would do in that situation? Guys like Pete? Guys like me six months ago, but my head didn't explode. I like the damn couch. I still don't get why you returned it. It's like vitamins. You made it sound like it was good for me. I don't work that way. Why did you buy it? Because I thought you needed it, but I overstepped. And I already said I shouldn't tell you how to live. Or where to put my ottoman, but you always do. And you always remind me. I seriously cannot believe we're fighting about furniture. We're not fighting about furniture. Actually, yes, we are. You see that table over there? I got this on the curb the day I moved in. That's someone's garbage? Yeah, it's a perfectly good table. And every time you're here, you put it over here. When you leave, I put it back. Because it looks better over That's there. That's your opinion. Well, then, if it bugged you so much, why didn't you say anything? Because I figured at some point you'd get the hint. Oh, so I'm supposed to read your mind now? You know what? I cannot deal with you when you're like this. Like what? <gasps> like nothing, OK? It's your apartment. Put everything wherever you want it. And I mean, wherever. Oh, hey. Hey. Remy, can you uh, tear yourself away this weekend and make an appearance at the loft? Super needs to repaint the closets. Of course I'll be there. I mean, I do live there. Uh-oh. And if I'm not home by 10, send a search party out for me. And then if I tell you I'm staying over at Patrick's, drag me out by my hair, please. OK. Well, first of all, no. Second of all, what's going on? Patrick sent back the couch that I bought him, which I was totally fine with, but then it showed up again today with enough accent pieces to fill the entire apartment. Well, that's just terrible. I once knew a guy who had a completely furnished apartment and I couldn't get away fast enough. I'm serious. Yeah, I know. That's what scares me. Patrick bought all that stuff because he wants to make me happy. And you don't want to be happy? Come on, Lenny, you're a shrink. You're smart. You're supposed to be able to uncover all the subtext and all the unconscious motivation. Mm. Am I the only one here that smells a setup? Mm. This is all a test. Patrick wants to see how demanding and clingy I get, so he has a great excuse to break up with me. Patrick loves you. Yeah, and that scares the hell out of him. But you know what? I don't really blame him. I mean, I practically harassed him into leasing that apartment. And then I bought a couch for him, which, granted, is gorgeous, but that's totally subjective on my part. And really, would I want some guy trying to run my life and buying furniture for me, even if it was perfect? No, I don't think so. So you know what? I don't blame him for trying to push me away. I'm like, <laughs> vitamins. Please report to the hmm? Never mind. OK, you could be projecting your own fear onto Patrick. Oh, don't go all shrink on me. OK, fine. Well, maybe it's not psychological. Maybe you suffered some kind of head trauma that makes you say really dumb things. Well, thanks for the support. <laughs> Anytime. And by the way, maybe you should keep old Sigmund Freud in mind. Sometimes a couch is just a couch. some important things. Yeah, I know. The board evaluations are coming up and some of the surgical nurses okay, we'll need get, references. We'll get to that. So, we'll... First, I need you to know that I'm, I'm not good at sharing my life with someone. I know I love you, but I feel like I'm swimming in deep water. If I do what I think you want me to do, then I'm accused of... I don't know, but it's not good. And if I do what I've always done, then I'm guilty of much more stuff. It's really a no-win for me. So I only see one way that I can win. Yeah, I know. You want to break up with me? I want you to move in with me.